time for chocolate frosting, which, okay, let's be honest here. This is the whole reason we make chocolate cake. And that's why I made three layers worth of chocolate cake. And I'm gonna slice those layers into half so I've got room for a double batch of chocolate frosting. So I've got three cups of unsalted butter and eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. And now I get to add to this mass of butter and cream cheese. 24 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Yes, a pound and a half of bittersweet chocolate. So first I'll pour in a little and mix it gradually. And now I can add in the rest. four cups of icing sugar and I'll add that about a cup to start. And two-thirds of a cup of cocoa powder and this really punches up that chocolate taste. A pinch of salt lightens up the sweetness a little bit and have to add some vanilla. consistency to spread on many, many, many cake layers. And I've got my cooled cakes. And it's great if you can pick up a Lazy Susan like this. It makes the cake do all the work. I can just slide it. Now I can peel off the parchment. I want six layers of cake with frosting in between. The best way to cut cake tears is to turn and slowly cut inward until you feel the cake move. And then use this to lift it off. Look at that beautiful, moist cake interior. So let's hide it with some frosting. Slide on the next layer. that last outer layer. It's easier to put on extra frosting and pull it off than it is to keep adding more. So I like to put a ton, making it as level as I can on the top. And all that frosting that sort of peeked out the sides now can join up. This is designed as a bowl scraper so I can bend it Put the flat edge along the side of the cake and just run it around the side and get a clean edge. And what you want to do is make a nice little holdable piping bag. All I simply do is I bring the points of the triangle together. So I fold around and down on one side and just wrap it around itself. You bring it together and together and together and you see all those tips join. And there's your cone. I've melted some baking white chocolate. A little goes a long way. Just need a bit. I do want to trim it. And I've got a birthday cake befitting a special occasion. And the only beverage pairing with a slice of chocolate cake like this would be an ice cold glass of milk. Mm -hmm.